Um, and I want to let's first of all look at uh, Rishi Sunak's claim that Nigel Farage's comment about appeasing Vladimir Putin uh, isn't Nigel simply trying to find a pathway to peace, David? Yeah. And Rishi Sunak is desperate. Uh, there he is in his £500 cashmere jumper, sl slouching and lounging on a train whilst he gives that interview. Look, Nigel, uh, n n he was asked a question about the geopolitics of what's going on. He pointed to the fact that in 2014, he had said he was deeply nervous about, you, uh, about NATO and the EU encroaching on Russia's borders. Now, he said by doing that, and he made this point in the European Parliament in 2014, by doing that, you are going to inflame tensions with Russia. And I think the, the, the phrase he used was, you are poking the bear. Well, he has been proved right. Now, we are, and Nigel is no apologist for Putin because what he has done is absolutely unreservedly horrendous and horrific. And there is a true human uh, cost to this. And so the invasion of Ukraine is completely unjustified. He made a geopolitical comment. And actually, many commentators, including uh, members of parliament, including people who are uh, experienced in defence and in, um, in in strategic studies, agree with Nigel. But the point is, it's been blown out of all proportion because what the uh, opposing parties think is that this is our Achilles heel. Well, guess what? On the doorstep, that's not what people are talking about. They're talking about immigration, the economy, the health service, crime, the things that really matter to them. They're not talking about Ukraine. Yeah, and it is interesting. I mean, there should be the, the sort of pathway to peace and uh, uh, and basically what we want to find is, is uh, solutions. And I think the more that we can look at that, and understand the context of certain conflicts, uh, uh, the better. What's your take on it, Nick? I think when we have politicians or the elite telling us that you should not be having these conversations about this particular topic. You cannot be asking questions about this. You cannot be airing your opinion on why this war started. That rings alarm bells with me. We should be able to talk about anything we wish to talk about because that's the only way you get to the truth. And the fact that people are trying to shut Nigel Farage up over this is a red flag. And let's be honest, you know, we've got Rishi Sunak, Who's, who's trying to now claim the you know that he's a patriot and we shouldn't be talking about this? Well, how about if you're a patriot, you secure our borders? We've got Starmer talking about the same thing. Well, if you're a patriot, why don't you wear the poppy when you're speaking to everybody in the country, not only specific people in the country? So these people are hypocrites. Um, I don't know if Nigel Farage is right or wrong on this issue. All I know is he has the right to talk about it and air those opinions. Uh, I, and I think it is putting these things in historical context and, as you say, rather than politicising it, uh, as you look at it, if there is a pathway to peace, we should explore <coughs> that. Did you like that video? I think you did. Hit the bell, give it a big thumbs up, comment, and don't forget, I'm standing for election in Old Meese and Saddleworth. So please share this video, speak to your family and friends if you live in Greater Manchester, and if you live in Old Meese and Saddleworth, make sure you vote for me. Catch you soon.